In the last 10 days, a local shelter has seen an increase in injured animals, including one dog with a broken jaw and two leg amputations. Now the nonprofit is asking for help from the community. Scrabble was brought to Kitties and Canine Shelter in Fort Smith by some Good Samaritans that saw the dog roaming around at Hard Scrabble Country Club. He had um, a big cut on his lip and um, his lower jaw was broken, completely snapped in half. The one and a half year old bird dog mix also had several teeth missing. He's healing now after getting several stitches and having his jaw wired. We can only speculate. We don't really have any solid idea of what happened though. No. Two-year-old terrier mix Cisco is another medical case. Malnourished and dragging his front paw, he doesn't appear to be in any pain, but his leg will need to be amputated this week. Um, an old injury that's long since been healed, and I, I recently found out that it's been almost a year since it, since it happened. One-year-old shepherd mix Sylvie has already had her surgery. She was found with a broken leg and bones sticking out by animal control. She's doing great. She doesn't seem to slow her down at all. She gets around just fine. Scrabble, Cisco, and Sylvie are just three of the medical cases at Kitties and Canine Shelter. There are also 10 dogs that are heartworm positive, and the shelter could really use help from the community. While the shelter often has medical cases, the amount in such a short period of time is higher than normal. Those are three surgeries that cost quite a bit of money. And then our heartworm treatment that's a minimum of 200 per dog on up to 400 per dog, and there's 10 of them. Donations are needed to help animals like Scrabble, Cisco, and Sylvie get the care they need and into a safe and loving home. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. If you would like to donate to Kitties and Canines Shelter, we have a link on our website, 5newsonline.com. All of the dogs features, featured will eventually be available for adoption after they've had time to heal.